Hey, Coach Colin Castell here with Shot Mechanics Basketball, and today I'm going to teach you how to never miss another free throw again. All right, so free throws are really important, and a lot more important than a lot of players think. If you look at the best scorers in the league, guys like James Harden, Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, Russell Westbrook, like those guys hit their free throws because it's essentially free points on the board, right? So if you're missing free throws, that's just free points to add to your scoring average that you're not getting. So today what we're going to do is we're going to go over some very simple keys that are going to help you hit more free throws every time you step to the line. So the first thing I want to talk about is finding the nail. Now you notice that on pretty much any free throw line, if it's a hardwood court, is going to have a nail in the center of the free throw line. Now this is great because it's alignment, right? The nail is aligned with the center of the rim. So as a shooter, we can use that to our advantage, right? Because I'm a right-handed shooter and I'm bringing my shot line up the right side of my body like this, I want to try to position that nail in the same spot. So what I find works for a lot of shooters is you take your dominant foot or the one on your shooting hand and you're going to put the nail just on the inside of the ball of that foot. So because the nail's right about here in the center, I'm going to take my right foot and scooch it just off to the right. Now because of that, as I bring the basketball up straight through, now my basketball placement is pretty much on the center of the nail. So as I come through, already I'm perfectly aligned and I know that I'm probably going to be a lot straighter on my shot. Right, just this adjustment alone can increase players' free throw percentages 10, 15, even 20% sometimes. Because think about, a lot of players take this nail and they put it in the center of their body, so they go, okay, my body's right in the middle of the hoop, that's good, right? Except for as the ball comes up the right side of their body, they're already out of alignment maybe two, three inches. And in basketball, two or three inches is definitely the difference between a make and a mix. Sometimes this much is the difference between a make and a miss. So, first tip, find that nail, get your dominant foot, Place it just barely on the inside of the nail, maybe by an inch, and then that way as you come up through, everything will be straight, and you'll automatically hit more shots just from this one tweet. Alright, so the next key that's super helpful is hip alignment. Now a lot of players step to the line and they see this free throw line, so they put both toes right on the line, right? They kind of square up to the basket. Now the issue with this is it causes a ton of shoulder tension up top, and this is what a lot of bad free throw shooters do. You actually see it a lot, right? So instead what we're going to do is we're going to turn our feet to a tilt a little bit. So if I'm a right-handed shooter, my feet are going to tilt to the left. If I'm a left-handed shooter, my feet are going to tilt to the right. And basically all this does is it allows my right hip to align with the basket. So as I come up through, it allows my elbow to get underneath the basketball and it keeps a lot of that tension out of your shoulders. If you just step to the free throw line and you do a little test where you put 10 toes on the line just like this and bring the ball up, you'll feel a ton of shoulder tension here. So this really alleviates that. And a lot of players don't realize that this is even an option. So it's great. All you got to do is turn it. Some players are going to be different. Some players like a big turn. Some players like just a little bit turn. So it's all about finding out what works best for you, right? Not everybody's going to be different. That's the way shooting goes, right? So for me, as I step to the line, I like a pretty decent stagger, right? If you notice, my right foot's only got maybe an inch behind the line, my left foot's got maybe about a foot. And so by doing this, I'm comfortable, I'm relaxed, I'm right off that nail like we talked about earlier, and everything's smooth towards the hoop. So think about that hip alignment, getting your feet turned a little bit, and that's gonna help you hit more free throws too. All right, so the next thing that helps players out a lot is having a lower shot pocket on their free throw. Now you notice a lot of players when they step to the line, they do everything, they do their routine, it's all good, and then they sink their body and pause with the ball right here, right? They pause with the ball pretty high, kind of up by the chin, up by the chest. Now the issue is if you pause here, you're pretty much only using your legs to fire into your free throw. And because we generally don't jump on free throws, that makes it a little bit harder. So what you'll notice that a lot of great free throw shooters do is that they load a little bit lower so the ball, instead of setting it up on the shelf, they're loading more down by their waist or by their thigh. So as I load my free throw here, I get that upward momentum with my arms, and that way it doesn't matter that I'm not jumping with my legs because I get that snap through to the basket. So try on your free throws, doing your exact same routine no matter what it is, but instead of loading the ball up here and pausing, load it down here, find your target, snap through. That will help you get that upper momentum, and thus your free throws will be much more effortless. All right, so the next tip I got for you is your breathing. Now that sounds kind of funky to think about your breathing, but really can make a huge difference when you're at the free throw line. Now I kind of got this tip from watching snipers, um, whether it was from a video game that I was playing or from watching documentaries. I noticed something that snipers do in the military, and that's they control their breathing and they pull the trigger on a long exhale. So you can do the exact same thing when you're shooting your free throws. So as you come to the line, you're probably pretty tired, right? You've been going up and down. You know, who knows how long you've been playing without a break. And so by controlling your breathing, you can steady your body and get a much steadier shot. So the idea is this. 
you do your routine, whatever it is, and you're gonna do three deep breaths before you shoot. You're gonna load just like we talked about earlier, find the nail, fall a little bit lower, and you're gonna take three deep breaths. And for all three breaths, you're going to target the basket. So I do my routine, I'm gonna target the basket and go one, two, three, and on the third, I'm gonna give a low, slow exhale. I'm gonna go and right when your breath's almost out, that's when you're gonna shoot into your shot, right? Because you've steadied your heart rate, you've steadied your breathing, and you kind of calmed and centered yourself. So I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna go one, two, three, exhale, boom, snap up. It sounds strange, but a lot of players can increase their free throw percentage five to 10% just from this one little trick alone. So I highly recommend you check it out. It's kind of a weird little hack, but it's definitely gonna help you hit more free throws. All right, so if this video helped you out, go ahead and hit that like button, and then head to the comment section down below and let me know what sort of video you wanna see next. We're a channel for the people, by the people, and I run pretty much everything off a request, so leave it down below and hopefully I get to it. And if you're new to Shot Mechanics, you're gonna wanna do two things. Number one, click that subscription button down below because we put out videos every week and they're all gonna get you better, I guarantee it. The second thing you're gonna wanna do is click the link in the description and get a free copy of my number one scoring workout. This is a scoring workout that's probably gonna increase your scoring average the very first time you use it because it's a whole different way to train, so I highly recommend you check that out. All right, again, I'm Coach Colin Castell with Shot Mechanics Basketball. Thanks for watching, and until next time, splash on.